Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be making a patch I called Techno Head. I didn't really have a better name for it. This video might be a little bit longer because there's a lot to go over on this patch. There's a lot of things happening. As you can see, there's a lot of effects. There's a lot of LFOs going on. We're using up to six LFOs. And then we're using how, look at all these effects as well as all the oscillators and then the filters. So there's a lot going on with two macros. So forgive me if I forget anything to talk about on this patch. But regardless, this is what it sounds like. All right, so let's dive into this here. So let's turn off our drums here as well as our external effects. So now we have just the synth itself. So in our effects of the synth, let's turn off everything. We had a chorus, a distortion, a compressor, a delay, a flanger, an EQ, and a reverb. So there's a lot going on here. So basically the first thought process is I have three oscillators here for the tonality of, the, of this going on here. We have a first, we have a saw, we have another saw. So this is gonna be the init saw, and this is the basic, basic shapes. So you can see their opposite polarity. And then we have the vital sign that comes with vital. And then we have a white noise for the sampler. So if we turn off the sampler, the oscillator three and two, and this is just the first one. So we have 16 voices at 20% detune, which is the standard for this detune. Now what's happening here is this first LFO is gonna be at 16. So there's gonna be 16 of these spikes here per one bar as this one over one says. Now we drag this over to the level, and then this is gonna have full influence. Now the knob itself is gonna be completely off, but this is going to be the gate that basically opens up this knob. And this is gonna be matched as well to level, level uh, of oscillator two, and as well as to level oscillator three. And we can always see that too with these little dots here. So oscillator one level, oscillator two level, and oscillator three level, and we can see the amount of the modulation. So one and two are completely 100%, but number three is gonna be 0 0.801. And that's because this right here, if we turn these two off, this is kind of a droning sound in the background. And this sine wave here is gonna be changing based upon this modulation here, which is LFO four. So if we go to LFO four, we can see that this triangle is moving this very slowly at four over one. So let's go over to LFO2 and let's see what is happening here. So this right here is also going to be 16 as well as the other one is. So every time it opens, this is going to be matched to the pitch. So this should be actually at 24 grid. Sometimes vital changes or doesn't say this grid spot here exactly. But basically what's happening here is that we have our main note down one octave, back to our regular, down one octave, back to our regular, up one semitone, down an octave, same for a regular here, down an octave, back to a regular, up uh, seven seven tones, which is making the fifth, and then back to regular, down one octave, back to regular, and then up for a fifth. So this is basically the shape that's going to be controlling the notes. As you can see here, this is going to be on the transpose for both uh, oscillator one and two at a value of 24. And we can always edit this if we right click and enter value here, or we can also do it at the modulation section here on the pitch. So if we turn this on and on, we can see how that's drawing the shape and changing the pitch at the same time. Next up we have LFO3 and this is going to be on the filter one cutoff, which is going down here. So this value here is gonna be kind of what, minus 30-ish or so semitones, but this is also controlled by this macro as we can move that as well. Now with this LFO, we also have the stereo option all the way to the right, as we can see this filter is kind of moving back and forth. It almost looks like there's two filters. Which is giving us a lot of that stereo feel. So if we turn this off to regular, it doesn't have as much movement. Which is a very cool feature in Vital. And as we notice, all four oscillators, so one, two, three, and the sampler are all going to this filter. As we can see, these are all selected. Oscillator one, two, three, and four, which is the sampler. Now a little run through of the voices. Operator number two is also gonna be 16 voices at 15% detune. The vital sign is gonna be seven voices at 20% detune. And we have a little bit of this harmonic stretch as well. This also be controlled by this macro two, which is the overtone. 
So if we turn these ones off here and just listen to this vital sign, we're using this harmonic stretch algorithm to change this harmonic content here. And this gets also changed with the wavetable as well. So there's a lot of moving parts to this synth here. Now for our last os oscillator, the sample, it's kind of low, but if you hear it, it's basically just going to be the, it's, it's more of a rhythmic type of thing. Now this is controlled by LFO5. So if we go to LFO5, we can see it's going one, two, three, it waits a little bit and then hits another one. This should also be at 16 as well. And the level here is, like I said, number five, and then turning these all back on here. And one of the last outflows we talked about is number six. So this is going to be the oscillator panning. So the oscillator, let's see, oscillator one pan is going to be 0.931, operator two pan is going to be 1.218, and then operator three is going to be completely, uh, what's it say, two. So we can see that all these are moving back and forth except the last fourth one, the pan's going to stay in the center the whole time. Now that's basically the this patch in a nutshell for the sound generation. Now let's jump into the effects here. So first off, we have the chorus here, eight voices, four over one. The feedback's going to be 18.95, the mix 30.45. Depth 18.89, delay 1.953, delay 2, 7.812, the cutoff 60, and the spread is 1. Now we have a little distortion. And this is just a little bit of enhancement to add a little bit more harmonic content at 8.889 .89 dB, and the mix is going to be at 0 0.074, so quite low. Next we have a compressor. And this is always the taste. I always kind of like to give a little bit of low end, but also the high end clarity as well. So definitely kind of mess with that around yourself if you'd like to. But as I always say, this patch is available for free download if you would like to use it in the video description below. Now we have a little bit of delay to kind of make it a little bit more open. That's going to be one over eight for both sides, and it's going to be mid ping pong. The feedback is 9.602, the mix 33.34, cutoff 70.55, and then the spread is zero. Now, what would this be without a little bit of flanger making a little bit of its noise? So flanger feedback, 35.66, the mix, 47.22, the center, 84.72 semitones, the depth, 50%, the offset, 115.3, at half a bar. Now we have a little bit of this EQ here, and this is going to be cutting off a little bit at 48.30 semitones, and the gain is going to be minus 4.886, the resonance, 15.10. Next up, we have the in-synth reverb. Feels like it gives it a little bit more of an industrial vibe for this sense here. So low cut, 55.87 semitones, the high cut, 98 semitones. You can change it to hertz if you'd like, totally up to you, but definitely with this, you want to use your ears, cut a lot of the low end after the reverb and maybe a little bit of the highs. It's always going to steer you right. I turned off the cutoff, or the cutoff here, the chorus amount. The gain is going to be at the top, chorus frequency 0 0.250, but it doesn't really matter too much because the amount's down. Size 50%, delay 0 0.071, the mix 34.77, and then the time is going to be basically about noon. And we add in some drums here. And that's pretty much this patch in a nutshell. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Hope not, there's a lot going on here. But you can do a lot with this patch. You have the filter, the filter macro, and the overtone. And depending on automation and how you structure your song, this patch can be quite useful in a lot of that sense as well. This glowing one here, it's definitely good to have that one on. I think it comes on by default. Um, and then this little moving here to kind of smooths out your, uh, your envelopes there.
So hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.